Frank Welker probably is the best voice guy I ever heard. He's brilliant. And at Wally Burr's there was a door that slid open. And Frank could do that door exact. And we'd all be sitting there, and the, and the door would open. We'd look over, and we'd nobody there. <laughs> it was just Frank opening the door. He could know. do impressions of everybody. I mean, I mean, the most obscure actors that you say no one can imitate him, and he would do it. Yeah, I yeah. mean, just he has on his license plate thirteen ducks, and thirteen ducks means he does a, a thing where he says in in Donald Duck, he's you know. Uh, and I can't do that. So, but as one duck, he says, okay, let's go. We're going to do, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Ready? One, two, three. And then he changes that thing, configuration, and it sounds like 13 ducks, and he sings, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And it's just bizarre. And, 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 and we all say, my God, now we're working with the best voice guys around, and Frank comes in, and you just sit there and stare at what he can do. I mean, he's just amazing. He, we did uh, uh, Balto, and I was, I, I was one, I was Nicky, one of the, one of the sled dogs, you know, what talk like this for some reason, I don't know why. And Frank was in the movie, but he was all the wolves. He didn't have any lines. He just he just did all the wolf noises, uh, and um, it's just well maybe he, uh, maybe he had a character too. I'm not sure, but uh, uh, we had to go to London for that, and and go into a studio all by ourselves and and do the line. And when it came back, Spielberg listened to it, didn't like it, and sent us back to do it again ensemble. Oh, uh, so but that was nice. We got two nice trips to London out of it. But, uh, but Frank was, uh, you know, all the dogs, uh, all the, the wolves. He's just amazing. Well, I saw them all just drooling. Two trips to London. Mm. Yes, uh -huh. Maybe I could do voiceovers, you know. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we, uh, we went on uh, Virgin Airlines, and it was in those days when people still smoked on airplanes. And we were in business class and right behind us were people smoking. And so when we got to London, I said, I'd like to change my seat. And they said, that's the only row of business class seats. And I said, so I have to go back with people smoking. And he said, yeah. So we did. And then when we had to return to London, I said, well, I'm not going Virgin Airlines. He said, you have to. That's the deal that Spielberg has. Uh, he's got it with Virgin Airlines. He said, I'm not going then. And they said, well, you have to, and I said, I'll tell you what, I'll just call Stephen. No, don't, 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 don't call <laughs> Stephen, no, don't do that, I will work it out. And we had two tickets, my wife and I, to go on British Airways on non-smoking, a non-smoking airline flight. Just all I had to do was threaten. You them. got to go to, oh my God. Oh, that, well that was a deal, I said I'm not going without my wife. They, they would have paid for a uh, first class ticket and I said, how about a business class ticket for two? And they said, fine. This is the saint that married him. That's the saint that married me. Over at the <laughs> And neither one of them know about Jack and I. Really. <laughs>